What's up guys, today we are heading to North Austin. We have a challenging flip ahead of us. This ain't cutting it. I think it did cut somebody. This two story has a lot of issues. We gotta get through it all. There Ooh. are so many bedrooms. Stay tuned. What in the world? <laughs> Here we are, what do you think? I mean, I think it's cute. It's got nice curb appeal. You've got this nice red brick exterior. We've got some beautiful foliage here. Very classic lines on this house. You don't see this every day. It's like a little tree pit lined I with know. limestone. I know, I'm confused as to what's happening. Are we just like built up around it? Uh, yeah, I think so. You can get down in there, really, really get to know your trees better. Speaking of, we've got two trees we got to talk about over here. Yeah, I prefer the big ones. The big ones certainly look better. This is like a scene out of the giving tree, you know? It's the old man. <laughs> but look, you got some new growth sprouting out. This is like us. We take a house left for dead. Mm -hmm. We nurture the new springs of life. Yes. Hope Springs Eternal, and that's why you guys are subscribed. Before we get into this thing, let's talk about the numbers. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath house built in 1987. It's 2,383 square feet, and this was purchased by our homemade partner, Torque, for $440,000. Let's get inside of this thing, because the yard, I'm looking at this, like, my work here is basically done. Okay, welcome right. home. Not bad. Hey, I'm already liking what I'm seeing here. Maybe not everything, but you got big old vaulted ceilings. You got beams. You know what I like about this house? What? There's definitely room for improvement. Yeah. But like, it's manageable. This is very manageable, to be honest. Normally we're dealing with some weirdness. This is like a coat of paint, some light fixtures, and some floors away from being kinda sort of livable. Where are we right now? We are in the formal living room. Yeah, slash dining room, because yeah. you've got what should clearly be a little table area, but. Check out these light fixtures, the swoop. Oh yes, it's like, like it a. It looks like. Um, like a calla lily or something. Like Puss in Boots, the hat that the cat wears. <laughs> Look how tall these ceilings are. They're huge. <laughs> I don't know how tall that thing was. It must have been 15 feet. What do you think? I don't even know. This thing is Sia's dream to swing from this chandelier here. She's gonna fight Miley Cyrus for it. That's a wrecking ball. There's so much potential here. I think you got this nice grand staircase going up. We do have a little bit of popcorn ceiling, so we're going to have to address that. I think we probably are gonna wanna add some can lights as well. I definitely wanna rip up these floors because this hue is not my favorite. Let's keep it moving on into the kitchen. I don't know about you, Lauren, but I think this kitchen looks fabuloso. <laughs> fabuloso, getting our DMs. Let's talk about this fabuloso kitchen because what are we supposed to do in here? It looks, it's looking great. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's room. I think there's a few things we could do. Starting with the countertops, this is that faux laminate. We're gonna put in some real stone, people. It's a little worse for the wear. And I gotta say, as far as fake countertops go, I'm not mad about these. If you're on a budget, at a distance, and I bet on camera, they look real. Somebody went to the trouble to put in new appliances, this big old sink. Sink is nice. Single basin, looks good. I probably would have taken out the uh, factory lighting. Yeah, but we definitely add some cans in here. I think fresh countertops, I think we keep the cabinets. I'm not mad about them. I <sighs> Even the cabinet hardware, hardware, hardware works. Nice. Yeah. Let's talk about this living area. Here's a typical move we would do, which is like open up this space, make it open concept, but uh. Yeah, I think if you wanted to just be a little extra, mm -hmm. you could chip out for plumbing, add an island, open this whole entire thing up. But quite frankly, Sounds like a lot of work and not a lot of payout, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I Work think- Work smarter, not harder, people. This is a perfect example of a flip where you can absolutely overdo it, spend way too much money and not get your money back. One area we are gonna have to spend money is matching these floors up because this is how I know they were doing these renovations in chunks, right? They did the whole kitchen together and updated it, put new floors, but then didn't match the existing. So you get this weird blended look. I think we gotta remedy that for sure, yeah? Agreed. Fireplace is looking fine. I like it. It's maybe cute. maybe a coat of paint, I don't know. Maybe. Now, one thing we might want to consider is this is a laundry space. I think it would be nice to have a door or something here where you're not just like looking at your laundry. This is a little bit of a weird layout. I, yeah, I guess you've got bifold doors that went here and, oh, this is a bathroom, I see. Mm -hmm. A little half bath. Okay, so this is a room that could use a little improvement. Yeah. Say. That cabinetry is dated. It's got that classic shell sink, you know? This is like if you had an Alanis Morissette CD, you know? I know exactly how old you are. How many tree rings <laughs> this house has. Exactly. Yeah, so we're gonna bring that into the 21st century. 
Okay, moving outside. This is nice. You got natural shade from these trees again. I haven't cut these trees down. Amaze balls. You've got very either annoyed or considerate neighbors because they put in a very tall fence. <laughs> very tall. This is a fence for giants. What is this, 10 feet tall? For yeah. context, you're what, six foot something? I'm at least seven three and this thing, <laughs> I'm six one. This thing is Comment below, this is a 10 foot fence. I felt like I was in a prison yard back there, man. I felt like the walls are closing in on me. I felt like the green mile up in here, you know? It's a bit aggressive. Speaking of prison yard. Yes, because they have a prison yard for their dogs and these fences are huge. I'm starting to maybe understand why the neighbors wanted some privacy. Because yeah. this must have been a huge dog run for some huge dogs. I'm gonna go with Great Danes. Yeah. Clifford lived here. It's the Clifford house. The Clifford house, the big red dog house. Yes, love it. It does look like Clifford would have lived here. And look at this, you got the grill. Now you gotta be careful because as soon as you open the grill, you know, the wasps are gonna come for you. I thought I was gonna find one of two things, some juicy burgers or a nest full of wasps. <laughs> Things got weird in the backyard. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I'm feeling good about the inside. Downstairs is great. I'm hoping there's more where that came from upstairs. I'm liking these stairs already. The banisters aren't too dated. I think it's nice. Well, I think we could paint them black or something and be mm -hmm. fire. Okay, moving into one of your spare bedrooms up here. It's a good size. I think this is nice. Not really much to do here other than swap a light, some flooring paint, and yeah, I don't know about the shelving. I don't know that that stays. Probably taking it down along with that popcorn. Let's see what else we got up here. Okay, so bedroom number two is about the same. No bookcases to take down. So yeah. Plus. You do have this weird border around the top. It's not crown molding. What what is that? I'm not sure what is going on up here with this border molding, but I'm anxious to see what the next bedroom looks like. So bedroom three. Now we're talking about dating the house earlier. I'm pretty sure this is an Alanis Morissette CD trapped <laughs> in the window. <laughs> oh man. Jagged little pill right there. Yeah, that's jagged little pill right there next to your jagged little glass. This is moving from the jagged little pill into your Papa Roach phase where you were like, cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. This ain't cutting it. I think it did cut somebody. This house is like labyrinthian. There are so many bedrooms in here. Mm, yeah, it keeps going. I to see a bathroom. Okay, whoa, what? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Yeah, this is an interesting bathroom. It, it's been redone partially. I was gonna say, I'm digging the vanity. The vanity's not bad. It could be cleaned up. The Mirror and the light fixture, I, I, it doesn't quite work together, does it? No, and the shower still needs help. We swapped out the shower door, but didn't bother with the tile in here. Well, no, we didn't do anything. <laughs> Let's be clear. <laughs> the previous owner. At least, I don't know what was here before, but if they upgraded to a double vanity, I'd say that was a smart move because you're sharing this with three bedrooms. And can we just say, here at the top of the landing off your bathroom, I feel like this is where you fought with your sibling. You held court in front of your parents' yeah. room. No, uh he did it first. She's not sharing the remote, Mom. He broke the window. She stole my jagged little pill CD, Mom. <laughs> You're a jagged little pill. Moving on into your primary suite. Oh, vaulted ceiling. Wow. Again with the floral <laughs> shaped lighting. I had this exact light in my house growing up. Did you? Were you energy conscious? Did you put your LEDs into your... Wasn't even invented yet, dude. Wow. Are we in a primary suite? Hold on. I feel like this is the Monty Hall show, okay? <laughs> behind one of these doors is a brand new car, a brand new primary bathroom, and behind the other two is a goat. Is this it behind door number one, or door number two, or door number three? I'm going with door three, Bob. Okay, she says door number three, but wait first. Let's open door number one. It's a goat. Okay, now, do you want to Stick with your original answer, or do you want to switch to door number two? I'm going all in. Oh, okay. Doubling down. That is the mathematically incorrect answer. Let's see what you've won. Brand new car! It's a partially renovated bathroom. <laughs> what a weird space. This is a terrible use of space. Wow. Did you think this was hiding behind that door, really? I did well, not see this coming. 
saw a glimpse of light under the door, so. Oh, you yeah. cheated. To be honest, I don't know what to do with this use of space. I don't either. We I don't feel like it's worth it to reconfigure, but yet. I think if anything, you gotta blow up this tub. This is a lot of real estate. It is a nice big window, but I agree. I think delete the tub, you buy a little bit more real estate in here. And look, and you've got the like powder room lighting. What is this, the studio lighting, the Hollywood lighting? What do you call I this? I also had this in my house. You did? That I grew up in. Mm -hmm. I was feeling really good about this project until I walked into this room. Yeah, it kind of went downhill. It's a little, like, concerning at this moment. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do. Yeah. So stay tuned, people. So if you guys are new here, we recently launched our own company, Homemade, where we partner with you guys to flip your own houses, and that's how we met Torek. He's originally from Europe, he's Italian, living in Florida now, and he's flipping a house in Austin, Texas. This guy's a globetrotter. The internet is incredible, people. It's everywhere, I don't know if you know this. <laughs> Super excited to get started on Torque's project. I think this house has so much potential. I love this stage of the process where anything is possible. At the same time, it can be super overwhelming. Lots of decisions to be made, contractors to manage. Not to mention financial returns to be made. And with this ever-changing real estate market, that can get me super stressed. Trust me, you do not want to see him stressed out. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> There's a lot of things to consider when you're flipping a house. And it's not just the projects themselves. There are a lot of people who count on us. Our flip partners, employees, spouses, kids. So it's super important that we are able to manage our stress levels. Which is why we are so excited to talk to you about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. I personally have found therapy to be super helpful in helping me manage my stress levels and gain an outside perspective that helps me manage the ups and downs of being a business owner and parent. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. I personally think everyone can benefit from therapy, but sometimes it's hard to find the right fit, especially if you're short on time or have limited options where you live. That's why we like BetterHelp's platform that makes finding a therapist easier. You can find the right therapist remotely online by filling out a few questions. And BetterHelp can find your match to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. And because finding a therapist is a little like finding the right home, if you don't really fit with that therapist, which is more common than you might think, you can easily switch to a therapist for free without stressing about insurance, who's in your network, or anything like that. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash flipsters to support our channel and save 10% off your first month. Thank you again, BetterHelp, for supporting our channel. Okay, so I have some not so amazing news about the cabinets. I know we said we wanted to keep these, they were in good shape. We lied, straight up. <laughs> I'm sorry. The real deal breaker is there's water damage in there oh, that we yikes. didn't see. Yeah. And the Lazy Susan doesn't work, and it's just in a lot rougher shape, and I don't know, we, we gotta talk about what we're doing here. From a distance, they looked pretty good. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be a big hit to the budget. I guess maybe we can cut back in some other areas. Yeah, there's not a ton of areas to shave, but I don't really see us having another choice. So on the positive, on the back end, like I think it'll really sort of pay out. Yeah, they will definitely look nicer, newer, fresher. So I think we could recoup a little bit of that at least. We gotta do what we gotta do. Let's do it. All right, the project has officially kicked off, so I'm coming out to check out the demo. And it's so sad, our Giving Tree stump is already gone. So sad, but much needed. All right, I wanna get in there. I cannot wait to see what progress these guys have made. They are moving quick on the demo. All right, I like what I see. We've already got the scaffolding in here for these tall ceilings. Moving quick, the floors are up. The kitchen is where the most dramatic demo is. We got all of those old cabinets out. We're moving quick on there. Let's check it out. Man, we are already getting texture up on the walls. Demo has happened. The kitchen is completely gone. We are moving quick. We have chopped down this wall. We're gonna have more of a flat kind of tabletop area. A little bit more modern for the bar. We're already moving on to the drywall, the texture. Man, so a little bit of demo had to happen back here. We got that chain link fence out. But the main thing is, this was so awkward. We didn't have a privacy fence between our next door neighbor and us. This was just like an open yard. So we're trimming up trees. Most importantly, we've got this nice privacy fence because nobody wants to feel like your neighbor's staring at you from across the yard. So weird. A lot happening. Demo is inside and demo is outside. Our crews are rocking and rolling, man. In Texas, it is like either surface of the sun temperature or it is freezing and it overnight shifted. So our crews are doing a great job. They work in all types of weather and they're really hustling on this one. It is gonna go quick, quick, quick. Lauren has got to get the design going because it is gonna be time for all the pretty finishes to start going in. Can't wait to see what she comes up with on this one. Super excited to get into the design plan for Torx house. Now, as you'll recall, this house is really just cosmetics, so we can really go 
hog wild on the design, which is what we have done here. We are doing just sort of a, a modern design with just a touch of glam. I can't wait to show it to you. Let's get started. So first thing you'll notice is we painted the entire house just a nice neutral shade. It's kind of like a slight gray, kind of a white, just very neutral. We are gonna paint the handrail of these stairs black. I think it kind of gives a nod to metal vibe, but it's much more affordable. So let's move on into the kitchen. So we did tweak the layout on this space just a little bit. We are gonna go with our tried and true white shaker cabinets now. The great thing about white shaker is it's affordable and it's still on trend. So as long as people are loving it, we're gonna continue to rock it. It just gives a nice clean updated feel. We're gonna do white quartz countertops per usual and some matte black hardware in the kitchen. We're keeping it fairly simple in the kitchen, but one way we're doing something kind of fun is with this backsplash tile. So this has green undertones, but it's kind of glassy and shimmery. I think it's gonna be super pretty once it's installed. So over in the secondary living space, our dining area, however you wanna use it, this fireplace is an awesome feature. Right now, it is the same brick as the exterior, so we are going to mod it up and paint it a dark, moody black, which I think is gonna go a long way in elevating the design of this home. Speaking of that, we are running these LVP floors throughout. Now, they look like engineered hardwoods, but at a fraction of the cost, which is great. So moving over to my favorite space in the house, you'll notice we passed this nice washer and dryer area, and then to the powder room. I think this is going to be such a fun space. I found this awesome wallpaper, which we've actually used in a house before in a different colorway. It reminds me of like peacock feathers or something when you see the full pattern. And it's got this really fun sparkly dots in it, which adds just like a little bit of glam once it's installed. Can't wait to see it in this space. We've got a cute mirror, some brass accents. I think it's going to look really good. So moving upstairs, we're going to keep it super simple as we do in these new spare bedrooms. Fresh flooring, fresh paint, new light fixtures, some can lights. It's going to be great. For the hall bathroom in this space, we are going to do sort of a subway, just classic pattern on the shower. We are gonna do brass accents throughout, including the mirrors, which I think is going to make it look nice and clean and elevated. Let's head over to the primary suite because that is what's gonna sell this house. So as you recall, this is a huge room. I think this is a great space. It's nice, bright, has lots of natural light, great closets. The one thing that's a little funky about this space is that primary bathroom. So if you recall, this primary bathroom had sort of an awkward layout because you enter at an angle we made the executive decision to go ahead and rip out that tub. We thought it would be nicer to have more space to access your shower. Now the shower is going to be the star of the show. We're actually gonna do a stripe pattern um, using these really fun, pearly marble looking tiles. I think it's gonna turn out really elegant and pretty. We're gonna run just some nice glass across the front so you'll actually enter it back where the tub used to be. I think it will feel more spacious and luxurious, which is the vibe we're going for in this house. And we are gonna do brass fixtures, which I think is gonna make it feel nice and modern and fresh. I cannot wait to get started. This is going to be a beautiful project. Stay tuned. Things are flying out here. Yeah, we're moving pretty quick. We've got the floors down, which has been the major update, and I think they look good. I think they look really good, especially when you compare them to what was here before. And we can do that because we haven't done the stairs yet. So if you look over here, the stairs are just kind of that like, gross reddish color that was popular in like 2000 yeah, era. Such a weird choice. Bring it into 2020 with these light kind of European oak looking floors. Yeah, I think they're great. They're waterproof, rigid core vinyl. Got the kitchen all ripped up. Paint is happening. Another big update is upstairs in the bathrooms. Let's go see it. Okay, so tile has happened up in the upstairs bathroom. We've got just sort of a nice subway classic brick pattern for the shower. And then we did some hexagon marble tiles, which I'm really liking the color palette with the paint. What do you think? Yeah, I am loving the brush gold accents. You can see it here in the Schluter trim. Now we're gonna match the shower trim and the faucets to give it that white and gold look. I think it's gonna look good. Yeah, I'm super excited to see it come together. Same thing is happening in the primary bathroom. Things are flying. We're gonna be done in, I'm thinking like two weeks. Crazy. Over in the primary bath, we are actually reconfiguring this a little bit to make a curbless shower. This space was a little awkward to begin with. It's not perfect, but we gotta work with what we got. Yeah, I think transitioning to make this shower sort of the focal point of the bathroom makes a ton of sense. You didn't really have room to justify this big old tub over here. So instead, I think having a larger walk-in shower, like you said, curbless, so it's nice and seamless. I think it's gonna add value to the space, give you more room over here, and your double vanity, make getting ready in the morning, you know. A little more peaceful. Yes. That's what we're after. It's... World peace, one bathroom at a time, people. Okay, so now that we've achieved world peace, <laughs> we still need to get cabinets in that kitchen, get that thing looking good. Next time you see it, you're not gonna believe it. Project is wrapped. Torque is on his way here from Florida, flying in as we speak. I cannot wait to show him this project. Big reveal coming. In three, two, one. you're here 
in How person. This is your first time seeing the project. That's Finally. crazy. I think it didn't need a whole lot from the outside because it's this classic red brick. We didn't do a ton out here, just a little landscaping. We did paint the shutters and the front door though. We got rid of the big old stumps. It's just a handsome house to start with. Yeah, it had great curb appeal and more importantly, it works with what's already going on in the neighborhood. You don't want to stand out in a bad way. I think we did what we needed to to make it sparkle out here. Well, it just looks beautiful. Really, yeah. it's just perfect. Yeah, well, let's go check out the inside. Let's go. Okay. Wow, looking good. Yeah, looking fresh. Come on in. Welcome to All your right. home. All right. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Does it look different in person or is this like the render? The consistency between from the model, the 3D model, and this one is just amazing. You could tell that that software was very useful to see how it's gonna be. So this can kind of be your dining, formal living. And here you have this nice grand vaulted ceiling. It makes it a little bit awkward to have a light fixture. Now we still didn't have a great solution because of the slant here. So we just uh, went with a fan instead, but I think this orientation works, makes sense. With the modern paint and painting the stairwell and the beams, I think really helps bring it up to today. Yeah, absolutely. It feels modern and modular. You could use that as you want and it feels modern, but you're not stuck with the same concept. It looks great. <laughs> Let's move into the kitchen because that's the heart of the home, right? Looking fresh. I think it looks great. I love this. We did do some updating in here as far as the layout went. If you'll remember, there was a pantry over here. We went with more of a cabinets around the fridge, kind of a more modern storage look. We actually did all new cabinetry because it just was not in good shape. The stove cleaned up and we kept it. It was kind of a toss up, but I think it works. And the big old sink was nice. They had upgraded that. To me, the most special part of this kitchen is this backsplash. Yes, I'm loving this backsplash. This is a glass tile. It's actually quite affordable. A little color, a little personality, you know. I think this is a nice blend of good design, but not sort of over the top, a little too crazy. It's practical. Professional, I'd say. Yeah. Personally, when I walk in the kitchen, being from an Italian family, <laughs> we know that's important. A lot of kitchens, they look nice, but you don't actually use them. They're not useful. But here, on the countertops, to the sink, everything here is practical. But it looks nice. So you yeah. have that bounce, I love it. I think it looks super sharp. You got this big bay window looking out on your backyard. And we got these nice little pendants. These are funky and fresh, I love these. Shout out to the sponsor that sent these, link in description. I think they look good, kind of separate the space. Now we've got this cut down to the table height, sort of bar seating area looking into your second living area. Yeah, so this is a peninsula. It's not a true island, but we're kind of using it like an island. I love that you have some eat-in kitchen seating in here. We put in this glass light door for the backyard. I think much more modern, clean. Let's poke our heads out. So out here, we just cleaned it up with some nice landscaping. We did run a privacy fence on the side that didn't have one, but yeah, looks great. It was so weird how you had so much privacy over here with this neighbor but you were just thick as thieves with the neighbor on this side. <laughs> I think we needed to balance this out a little bit. They kind of had a dilapidated chain link fence to create a little dog run in here. Just kind of cleaning that up and getting out of here, I think makes it feel like a much bigger yard because it's not partitioned off. But I think this is a great family yard because it's nice, flat, shaded by the trees. It's enjoyable, it's open. But you have privacy. Yep. Exactly, exactly. Good fences make for good neighbors. Boundaries are important. Backing up to your new family space. Ooh, like the contrast. Yes, I think this is sort of your more casual family space. It's hidden from your front door. Now we painted the brick on this fireplace because it was really that like 90s red. This part of the house is where you're gonna be hanging out all the time, I feel like. It's the family room adjacent to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we went a little bold. Previously, this was the same color as the exterior. I think it really works, the high contrast. I don't know how you feel. I, I love it. Okay, good. <laughs> it would also be easy to swap out if you wanted to paint it a different color, but I think it looks good in the black. I think it looks very fire emoji. This isn't even the most fire thing down here. Let me show you my favorite part of the house. All right, so I love a powder room. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you why? Why? Because it is socially acceptable to put in a fun wallpaper <laughs> and I live for fun wallpapers. So I thought this was a really fun pattern. We paired it with some gold fixtures to really kind of give it a little pop, gray cabinet. It's a feature, but I think it turned out great. Yeah, I see what's your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can tell it. there is really a nice design touch here. Longtime viewers will recognize this pattern. We've used it before in a darker, more like a green tone. Check out that episode. It worked there too. I'm loving it in this tone. Beautiful. Yeah, and I agree. In a small space like this powder room, you can really get away with going buck wild on the wallpaper. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Getting turned in this powder room.
Speaking of getting buck wild. Want to head upstairs? Yeah? yeah? Yeah, absolutely. There's more to see. Okay, so heading up to the top of the stairs, you have this landing before you go to your first Prince Harry bedroom. Oh, it's a spare it's bedroom? A spare. I see what you yeah. did there. Sometimes the spare bedrooms are a little small, but these are actually a nice size. Kept it very simple in here. Fresh coat of paint, trim, nice light fixture. Added some can lights. I think it's a lot brighter, a lot cleaner. Quickly, we can poke our heads in these other two bedrooms, but you'll notice uh, they look very similar to each other. <laughs> so there's multiple heirs to the throne. We've got actually three spare bedrooms up here, all nice size. You keep them simple, you keep them fresh and clean and they really work. We had a broken window in here that we had to swap out. But other than that, it was pretty easy. And it's nice that all these bedrooms have walk-in closets as well, because that's a kind of a premium feature that if you've got enough space, it's really nice to have. And the windows. Yeah, the windows. a lot and of light. Two sides, so you get that. A lot of yeah. light, exactly. Yeah. Let's check out the bathroom that all three of these bedrooms share. Not that golden touch. Yes. It's like downstairs. Yep, exactly. Cohesive. That was you, right? <laughs> yeah. You know what? <laughs> the white and gold and that kind of marble look. I think it's nice. It's really nice, especially if you've got three bedrooms all sharing a space to have a double vanity. We went with a hexagon marble looking tile on the floor. Kept it consistent, gray vanities, just like the powder room. I am digging the gold schlutra. Fresh countertops, pop of gold glam. It's not over the top, but exactly. it feels right. Yeah, exactly. And it gets dark there again. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yep. I love it. Speaking of grandeur, let's go check out the piece de resistance, the primary bed suite. The sherry on top. <laughs> <laughs> This is a nice space with the vaulted ceilings. I love it. You've got these new little reading lights that we installed on this wall for your big old king size bed. And you know, you're a reader. You're on the good reads, right? Yeah, are you using these lights? Yeah. Oh, readers are leaders. We have linked them below. They're super awesome. Go check them out. So moving on to the primary bathroom. Yeah. Now this one was a little tricky. This was a weird space to work with. It had this bathtub-y type space that was not usable. It's in a odd L shape to begin with. Yeah. We're L people, we're Lincoln and Lauren. We love a good L, but we never take an L. And we <laughs> do. It's always a hard call to remove a tub, but sometimes if it just doesn't work, it's you're better off with a big shower. Much better. Yeah, especially in a primary. As long as there's a tub in the house, which they had in the hall bath, mm -hmm. so we were fine. You know, Especially if you have family and kids running yeah. around this. It's a lifesaver. <laughs> right. And a walking shower just screams comfort. We have this beautiful new shower, this pane of glass makes it feel modern. I am digging the pattern that we went with on this tile. This is our first time doing stripes, people. I think that's what makes this bathroom work is that you make this sort of the show stopping piece. And the stripe pattern with the marble and the subway mixed together, I think is visually really interesting. It's one of those things that looks great. It didn't really cost any more to do. The marble itself has gold undertones and silver undertones. So that lends itself to our mixed metals that we have going on in here. Uh, well, that is the house. Yeah, cool. First time through it. What did you think? Well, when do I get to move in? <laughs> <laughs> so super gratifying to hear that Torque loved the house so much he wanted to move into it. I mean, that's the best compliment you can get. All right, so let's talk about the numbers on this one. So the purchase price for the property was $440,000. The remodeling and holding costs for the project were $145,000, bringing the total investment in the project to $585,000. Torque's holding onto this one as an investment property and the appraisal for it came in at $634,000. That brings the instant equity in the property to $49,000. Hey guys, if you like what you saw today, click on this video for another full before and after house flip.